Hi everyone and welcome back all of you to ninth grade English from me, Miss Tao, in the Super Memory for Schools programme. Today we will continue to come to Unit 2, Clothing, Lesson 3, Write and Language Focus. My dear students, every day you go to school and you all wear uniforms, right? Therefore, between uniforms and casual clothes, which means your favourite clothes, then which option would you like to choose? Uh, some students say that they like uniforms when going to school more. Others say that they like wearing casual clothes to go to school more. So today I would like you to learn some vocabulary related to this matter. Why should we wear uniforms when going to school? And why should we wear casual clothes? Let's see those new words. To encourage. Equal. Proud. Practical. Freedom. Self-confident. And about the grammar, we will learn about the passive forms. The general structure of the passive form is be plus verb past participle. And today we will learn about the present perfect. The present perfect tense and passive form of modal verbs. My dear students, some students say that they like wearing uniforms when going to school. Uniforms. Because uniforms encourage us motivate us to be proud of the school we are learning. To encourage. To encourage. Proud. Proud. And especially wearing uniforms is very practical. 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 Because every morning we don't have to think about what to wear today. Besides, wearing uniforms helps students to be equal. 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 You will not distinguish the richness and poverty among students. Nevertheless, others prefer to wear casual clothes more. The reason is when wearing casual clothes, which means your favourite clothes, they can feel free to choose the styles and forms of clothes. Freedom. Freedom. And especially when wearing casual clothes, their favourite clothes will make them feel more self-confident. 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 So, let's review today's vocabulary. To encourage. Equal. Proud. Practical. Freedom. Self-confident. Next, I would like to invite you to come to the grammar part, Passive Forms. My dear students, do you still remember the general structure of passive forms we have already learnt in previous lessons? That is, be plus verb past participle. Verb, participle. The past participle is verb 3, ed. I would like to invite you to come to the first example. Mary has made this cake for an hour. Mary has made this cake for an hour. In this sentence, I have has made, which is the present perfect tense. So we will learn about the passive form of the present perfect tense. The present perfect tense. The structure of passive form in present perfect tense is subject plus have or has plus been plus verb three ed plus by plus object. And I have this example. Mary has made this cake for an hour. I will change this active sentence to the passive form. Please watch me. Firstly, I will determine subject, verb, object. Subject is Mary. Verb is made. Object is this cake. I will move subject to the end, object to the beginning and verb to the middle of the sentence. And I have this sentence. This cake has been made by Mary for an hour. Let's check if my answer is correct to the structure or not. So I have the subject as this cake. Have or has, I will choose has because this cake is a single noun. Next, been, then verb 3, ed, of made is made. After that, I have the word by and the object is Mary. The phrase for an hour, I remain the same. So I change the active sentence, Mary has made this cake for an hour, to the passive form, this cake has been made by Mary for an hour. Let's come to the next example. You must do this exercise before bedtime. You must do this exercise before bedtime. 
In this sentence, I have must. Must is the modal verb. So what do the modal verbs comprise? Can, must, should and many other words. The structure of the modal verbs is subject plus modal verb plus be plus verb 3 ed plus by plus object. And I will change this example to the passive form. Everyone, please watch me. First and foremost, I determine the subject, verb and object. Subject is you. Verb is do. Object is this exercise. I will change the subject to the end, the object to the beginning and the verb to the middle of the sentence. And I have the result. Let's check my answer with the structure. So subject is this exercise. A modal verb is must. Next is be. Verb 3 ed of the verb do is done. By, I have the word by. With object, I have you. And the phrase before bedtime remain the same. So I change the active sentence. You must do this exercise before bedtime to the passive form, which is this exercise must be done by you before bedtime. Besides, we can eliminate the phrase by you. My dear students, in the passive form, I have some following notes. Firstly, place plus by object plus time. This means by object will stand behind the location and stand in front of the time. I have an example. The flowers were grown in the garden by my mother last week. The flowers were grown in the garden by my mother last week. I have the phrase by my mother. By my mother is by object. It will stand behind the location in the garden and stand in front of the time last week. Besides, I have other notes. The phrases in the passive sentences, for example, by me, by you, by him, by her, by them, by us, by it, by people, by someone, etc. can be eliminated. For example, this exercise must be done by you before bedtime. The phrase by you can be eliminated. My dear students, we have already learnt parts three of unit two. Let's review the vocabulary and the grammar. In the vocabulary part, we have to encourage, to encourage, equal, equal, proud, proud, practical, practical. Freedom, freedom. Self-confident, self-confident. And in the grammar, we learnt about the passive form. The general structure of the passive form is be plus verb past participle. And the passive form in the present perfect tense is subject plus have or has plus been plus verb three ed plus by plus object. The passive form of modal verbs subject plus modal verb plus be plus verb 3 ed plus by plus object. Today's lesson has come to an end. I hope everyone learns well and see you again in the next English lessons from me, Miss Tao, in the Super Memory for Schools programme. Goodbye and see you later.